Question two then from paper two of this new hire using the specimen paper, a recurrence relation. It's not been there for a while. What have we got? One of the standard big worded questions there. It's believed a population can be modelled with this linear recurrence relation. The number in the following year will be some number times the population this year plus some number. However, you don't know what A and B are, but you do know the various U's. You know some populations. What does it say? Initially, quite often for initially, you say U naught. So initially, the population was 2,000. After a year, so we'll call that U1, it was 2,500. And after another year, it went up to 2,980. Part A, use the above information to find the values of A and B. Well, if they fit this reconciliation, you could just put them in. UN plus 1, that means one more than this, just the following one. Well, 2,500 follows this one. I'll write it the other way around, though. So A times the 2,000, I'll put that as 2,000 times the A, plus the B gives you the following one, which is 2,500. There's an equation connecting A and B. And if you start with 2,500 and multiply it by A and add on B, you should get the following year, which is 2,980. There's another equation. Now you've got a pair of simultaneous equations to solve. Simplest way to solve them would be to subtract them. Now I don't need to subtract them that way around. I can just as easily say 2 take away 1. So 2 take away 1. That would give me 2,500 take away 2,000 is 500 A, the B's cancel of course, equals 980 take away 500, 480. So A is going to be 480 over 500, which is well just changed into decimal, because all you've got to do is double it and you've got a decimal number. So that means that A is going to be 0 0.96. And once you know what A is, you can pop it back into 1. So using number 1 then, you've got 2000 multiplying 0 0.96 plus B should produce 2500. So that will be 960 doubled to 1920. So B is going to be 2500 minus that 1920, which is 580. Now what's part B? Conservation measures will end if the population stabilises at over 13,000. Will this happen? In other words, will there be a limit to this? Because it has to stabilise. And will that limit be more than 13,000? So you have to use that to justify your actions. Well, will there be a limit? Let's put this down again. I've got UN plus 1 is 0 0.96 UN plus 580. Now, the multiplying number is a proper fraction. That number, 0 0.96, is less than 1 or greater than negative 1. In other words, it's a proper fraction. And when you multiply by a fraction, those numbers will get smaller. So since that's the case, that means that a limit exists. A limit, I'll call it L, exists. You could say further, as N gets big enough, just say N goes to infinity. Now there's one mark for all of this. I think you have to put that statement, this, this reconciliation down, as well as the justification of why a limit exists. And then you could put down the limit in one of two ways. You could either say you've reached the limit once, whatever you've got one year, and you carry out the calculation, you get the same result the next. So you've reached the limit if you're at the limit and you multiply it by 0 0.96 and add 580. The answer of that is exactly the same number. Then it's stable. So you could take that across and subtract it. So you've got the limit minus 0 0.96 times the limit is 580. So taking out a common factor of L, that would be 1 minus 0.96 is 580. And then divide by that, which is just 0 0.04. So 580 over 0 0.04. So that would be 4 into 5 goes to the 1. That's paper 2, shouldn't be doing this. Remainder 1. 4 into 18 goes 4. Remainder 2, 5. 
get the size correct, move that another two places, so 14,500. Because that's just the same as jumping in with the formula. The limit equals B over 1 minus A. That's like coming in here. B is 580, and 1 minus A, you would write as 1 minus, I have started. Started, so finish. 580 over 1 minus 0 0.96. 580 over 0 0.04, and then of course it's the same result. That's just the second mark now. Now you've got to justify your answer, because it didn't just say find the limit, it said will this happen, justify your answer. Clear this space here, because it's time for the big spiel, unfortunately. Will conservation measures end? Is the limit, will it stabilise at over 13,000? Yes, so the first answer to the question is yes. Then what can you say? Yes, the measures will end. The conservation measures will end. Just put a comma there. Now I've got to justify that numerically. As the population stabilises at 14,500, and that's still not enough, I've still got to justify why that's acceptable. And 14,500 is greater than the 13,000 required. There we go.